Hi, I'm Flo Motlik, CTO here at CodeChip. In this screencast, we're going to deploy a Node.js application from Bitbucket to Heroku. I've got a simple Node.js application called CodeFish, which contains some Jasmine specs. If you want to follow along these setup steps on your computer, just fork the repository. We're going to deploy this application to Heroku using CodeChip. Let's sign into CodeChip with Bitbucket. CodeChip needs access to our Bitbucket repositories to be able to set them up. Let's allow access. We're back at CodeChip. Now, let's create our first project. The first step of our project setup is to select Bitbucket as our repository provider. In the list of my Bitbucket repositories, I search for my repo codefish-node and select it. Now, our repository is connected and we can set up our test commands. We select Node.js as our technology. This pre-populates the setup commands and the test commands for us. CodeChip suggests Node.js 0.10.25, but I want to use the same Node version as on my computer. When I type Node-V in the terminal, I find out that I use Node 0.10.26. So I just copy my node version into the nvm install and nvm use statements. Additionally to my node modules, I need to install Jasmine node globally to be able to run my Jasmine specs. I don't need npm test for my Jasmine specs, so I comment it out. Instead, I want to run jasmine-node spec. Now let's finish our setup and go to the dashboard. To start our first build, we need to add a push hook to our Bitbucket repository. Let's copy the hook URL and follow the link to the service hook settings of our repository. We add a post hook, paste the hook URL and save the hook. We can trigger a build for our application by pushing to our repository. Let's add the codeship status image to the readme file. Now let's commit and push this change. This triggered a new build on CodeChip. We can access the build details by clicking the arrow on the right. Here, we can follow the running build. By the way, if you ever need help, check out the CodeChip documentation. If you encounter any problems, contact the CodeChip crew by clicking on the support links in the top right or the bottom right corner. A few seconds later, our build succeeded. Great. We see all the commands that were run. After a few initial preparation commands, CodeChip ran the commands that we specified a few moments ago. We can inspect the output of a single command by clicking on it. So we can see that two Jasmine specs were run. We've already pushed to our repository, watched our build log and got a green build. So we can finish this assistant. Now. Let's deploy our application to Heroku. We go to our project settings by clicking on the settings icon in the projects dropdown. And then to the deployment section. We want to deploy it to Heroku. Now we need to enter the name of our Heroku application and our API key. Let's go to Heroku and create an application. I name my application codefish-web and create it. Back at our deployment configuration, I entered the application name codefish-web. To retrieve my Heroku API key, I follow the link to my Heroku account and click Show API Key. I copy it and insert it into my deployment configuration at CodeChip. Now let's save our deployment configuration. From now on, CodeChip will deploy our application to Heroku every time we push to our Bitbucket repository. Let's go back to our dashboard. Now let's push a change and see if it gets deployed. I add a paragraph. I just deployed my Node.js app with CodeChip to the landing page. I commit and push the change. And immediately 
another build starts running on CodeChip. I will fast forward until the build is finished. After the commands we already know from our first build, our application also gets deployed to Heroku now. And about two minutes later, our application is online. When we open codefish-web.herokuapp.com now, our deployed application appears. If you need help with setting up your own application, please use the in-app support link in the top right corner or tweet us at CodeChip. Take a look at all of our other deployment videos and blog posts on blog.codechip.io. If you want to get started with CodeChip, click the sign up link that will come up right after the video. Ship long and prosper.